Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. And Joey from Tested. And Joey's here today because we're gonna talk, of course, about production equipment. Uh, we are right now on our way down to San Diego Comic-Con, so we thought it'd be fitting to show you what's in Joey's Ugh. camera bag. That looks like a sturdy and hefty camera bag. This thing is packed full. Uh, wow. This is our port brace camera bag. This is like the fundamental camera package that we bring on a on road shows or, or anywhere we go for conventions. Porter Brace, it's like a really nice bag. And we've used a bunch of different camera bags before. You might have seen the old like kind of turtle shell, yeah, big autos. camera bags. And then we have like a small case logic camera bag we've used that would- Even these guys. Oh yeah, and, like, and you've had like I even- I call them uh, tactical vests. Ooh. Whoa. They're just little- It's like a utility belt. Yeah, utility belt. They kind of have like shoulder harnesses that kind of keep your weight on the hips and less in the back. Crap. Oh, they're nice, I like them. They're and then small. what makes this camera bag ideal for carrying camera gear? Uh, this one we got with the Sony FS5. It's actually built for that camera. Uh, I like this Porter Brace bag because it opens up, kind of like, just opens out instead of the other bags that open kind of like a clamshell. Mm -hmm. uh, this makes it really easy just to grab things and kind of see where everything's at. Uh, I imagine it also comes with dividers. Yeah, you have dividers, little bags, some padding, so you can kind of customize it to make it fit your uh, your stuff. Right now, everything is kind of underneath this mm -hmm. shell of stuff. I also like that it has like this easy open yes. one strap pull to zip up. Oh, that's a great design. Yeah. Velcro right here. It feels nice. So you got leather right here, Velcro, and then there it goes. Bam. Perfect. All right, so it, like you said, it's packed full of everything that you're gonna bring to Comic-Con. Uh, so let's unpack it all out, no on the table, and go over each piece of gear one at a time. Cool. Holy moly, that's a lot of stuff. That yep. was like a clown car of camera <laughs> bags with, it's unfurled. Yep, yep. Let's Those start are... with the camera. Yeah, this is the uh, this is a new addition to the family. This is this, the uh, Sony FS5. So uh, we got this camera after looking for uh, a secondary camera to the the Canon C100, which is this is being filmed with. But it's either this or the Sony FS7, uh, which was a bigger version of this camera. And uh, I'll go into more details in the future on a, on a future post or video about my thoughts on on this camera and the the choice in getting it. But it's a camera that can shoot up to 4K. Up to 4K. It has uh, a lot of color depth. Um, so you can shoot pretty flat and do a lot of grading afterward. Yeah, there's a lot of options if you wanted to go with a flat color and a, a flat color profile and then grade that later, or if you just wanted something that looks good to trade out of the box, like this camera kind of does it all. And to recap, previously throughout our time at Tested, we've experienced with the old kind of Panasonic cameras. We've had non-interchangeable lens cameras like the Sony X70. Uh, you use, of course, interchangeable lens cameras like the C100, we shot with DSLRs, the Blackmagic pocket cinema camera. And this one is an interchangeable lens camera. You have on there a Metabones adapter and a Canon, um, you have a, a 24 to 105. Yeah, so because we have the Canon lenses for the, the Canon cameras, we bought the Metabones adapter that allows us to use those Canon lenses and also- uh, Opens it, up an it, extra it, stop. Yeah, it gives a whole other stop, which makes this F4 lens essentially like a three, which is fine for handheld shooting, what we do. Right, and one of the advantages of this camera that we really like is that you have high speed at at yes. fingertip access. So you may have seen our Sony FS700 uh, slow-mo videos. This pretty much has all that same capability in that camera, just at a faster you know, processor, so. You can jump right to 60 FPS, oh, yeah. 120 FPS, at a flick of a button, you'll faster see, buffering. You'll see a lot more of those in our videos. Ooh, <laughs> fancy. Uh, what's this attachment? What other things are you putting on it? So basically, you can go low profile and just keep the body, or you add this handle so that you can get your XLR, your, uh, your LCD viewfinders, and then from there you can add your your boom mic. Uh, we use mostly lavs or handheld mics we'll go into, but I have a Rode boom mic that I use as like a backup in case like things go wonky with the wireless or just something didn't record right. This guy will be a kind of a backup. You can recorder. actually record uh, more than two channels. You have two wireless in addition to a boom mic? No, no, you need to choose. So ah, it will okay. have like this rolling and then we'll have like a stick mic. So the stick mic will get just your voices doing the interview and then this guy will get all the crowd, you know, the crowd noises or anything like you know, we want to pick up. Right, as because we're, this is the gear that we're bringing down to Comic-Con. Comic-Con, like a lot of conventions, a lot of unknown variables for, uh, for wavelength. We don't oh, know yeah. what type of interference. So typically, I'm walking around holding one of these stick mics that's used on a wireless or a wired. It can be wireless, but wired just it's secures, safer. yeah, it's just, it yep. secures your, your, your signal. Uh, Tethered via XLR. Yep. And, and then, then you have the boom. 
We have the boom and then uh, our wireless mics or wireless lav mics just in case uh, we want to do something a little more intimate and just throw a lav mic on somebody. Very cool. How heavy is that whole thing? It's starting to get heavy. The camera itself is really light, uh, but once you put the lens on, you start to get a little front heavy. You can see it just kind of wanting to fall forward. Uh, this, we use Sony wireless mics, which is great with a Sony camera because you just plug that into the hot shoe here and it gives it power. It gives the wireless mic power and also takes in the data of the audio. So no extra cables coming out of that thing. You don't even need batteries. Just... I know, when we were testing this earlier, the batteries ran out and we're like, well, it's still recording audio because yeah. you actually get power pass through. Yeah, it's great. Uh, but at this point, it's starting to get a little heavy. Uh, you can adjust this handle, make it more comfortable. And I also bought this shape handle, uh, which will extend the arm out so that I can hold it forward and wedge it into my body for you know more comfort. This is all about comfort. Like for Comic-Con, especially you're out all day shooting, you don't want to kill your wrist, kill your arm. You want to be as comfortable as possible. All right, so that's the camera. We'll put that aside. You have some extra batteries. That's a really big battery there. Yep, this battery will last more than a day, but I bring two of them and then the small battery, just, just in case, can't have too many batteries. Uh, Whole thing of double have, A's. Yep, double A batteries for the wireless packs. Yep. Now you're using uh, mostly handheld, but you also bring a tripod. And this is a new tripod that you also got. Yeah, this Benro uh, Aero 4 tripod. It's I've been using Manfrotto travel tripods for a while, uh, which are great. They're very sturdy. This is awesome though, because it has what the other tripods don't, and that's a tilt head. So if uh. I'm a little bit cockeyed, I can adjust that. Most smaller travel tripods just don't have that. Uh, this also transforms into a monopod. Oh. So if we're on the floor shooting interviews all day and it's just getting it's getting too much for a handheld, I can just take off this head, take off the leg, put those together, and make a monopod so I can wedge it into the floor and just record interview straight on. It's fantastic. Mobility, but you also get stability. And again, like for these conventions, comfort, comfort. because you'll be you're the tax the most. Yeah, you don't want to get to the end of the day and just be wobbling over the place or just shooting poor video because your body's fatigued. Right, and that's going to be sturdy enough, much sturdier than like the super light, small carbon fiber ones yeah. that we use with the, the smaller cameras. And the idea for video tripods uh, is to have this handle so you can do the pan and tilts, mm. uh, whereas a lot of travel tripods for still cameras don't have that because you're just setting up a, a stationary shot, but this is actually quite useful when you're doing video. Yep, and then you have a light. Yeah, I got a light and I never use it on the camera. It's an on-camera light and it sits up front. Uh, I just don't like that look. Uh, it's a little bit too, I move the camera so much, I don't want the lights changing. I don't want to get hot spots on anybody's face. But what I do like to do is use these uh, you know, little tools to mount the light onto something close by, just to give like a fill light or a catch light, something just to add a little bit more to the subject. Um, so I bring it just in case I have like a, like something I can just clamp it onto and just mount it. All right. Um, here is that Blackmagic yeah. Cinema camera we talked about. This is something we used for a while. Uh, you you had some uh, some issues with or some with the the workflow. Yeah, the workflow is a little bit much. I actually don't. I, I bring this everywhere I go, but I don't use it that much for tested production. I kind of bring it just as a backup slash just for fun camera. Uh, it's really easy to throw in a pocket when I go out for like the night, and I can shoot some video with it and take it home and uh, just have some fun color grading because it, it's a camera that needs to be color graded, and needs to be taken care of from the post production process on. Uh, but I like, I just like it. I like, I don't like using it for for work stuff, but I like shoot with it. It's fun. And also because we're turning around videos and there's so much we're shooting at Comic Con, you don't want to have like three camera setups for every video. That's not reasonable. Yeah, at all. it'll make a, just getting videos out at a reasonable time really hard. Now one camera we had fun with last year uh, that we're again bringing down to Comic Con is. The GoPro on a stabilized gimbal. This is the Feiyu Tech stabilized gimbal. We use this for our walkthrough of convention floors, and I imagine we'll be doing the same thing this year. Yeah, it's a, it's this whole setup is really easy. Just two buttons, turn the GoPro on, hit the bottom button, you give it to anybody, and just walk around the floor and you right. know get a little C cam footage of just uh, life at Comic Con. What you don't get, of course, is the viewfinder with that. No, it's yeah. like the DJI, DJI Osmo, but the Osmo requires then pairing over Wi-Fi, and so you can run again into some technical difficulties. Yeah. It's a lot of setup required. This, you said, give, give anyone. Yeah, it's a little bit of a crapshoot of just what you're framing up, but you know, in a pinch, it's, it's nice to have just to, to get those footage. All right, and then you have, of course, trusty field notes. Yeah, I never use it, but I always bring it just in case I do need to write something down. Uh, it's there. People's it, names. People's names. Production credits, yeah. stuff like that. And storage drive. And storage. What I pretty much the workflow for these kind of events is shoot everything all day, come back to the hotel, and instantly just start dropping footage, and then back up the, the, the cards just so I know that I'm not going to delete anything that I have not already uh, taken in, and just to back up everything because that's smart to do. Cool. Well, that's a little sampling of the gear we're bringing to Comic Con. Everything going in that bag, 
It's a nice Sony FS5. We'll have more coverage. We're gonna take these to more events, of course, and Joey's gonna do a more comprehensive uh, review of this camera system, showing off its features in a future video. But until then, please enjoy all the Comic-Con related content coming out this week and next week, and we'll see you in San Diego.